Hi, Pipe Smokers. It's Paul the Pipe Guy. And uh, I thought of another video that I wanted to do. I did this one actually quite some time ago. I don't know how descriptive I was on it, though. Uh, and that is how to rehydrate your pipe tobacco if it gets dried out. Uh, and actually, I discovered this. Uh, I had a humidor, handmade, beautiful mahogany humidor. And it was this past winter, and uh, I had about a pound of uh, apple cherry aromatic pipe tobacco in it. And I had it sitting on my desk uh, with a humidifier in it, which basically is a round disc that uh, <clears throat> has some material in it that absorbs water and you only want to rehydrate tobacco or keep it hydrated with pure distilled water. If you use uh, regular tap water or bottled water, you're going to get mold on it. It's going to ruin it. Uh, so only use distilled water in this process. So uh, basically what I did is uh, I was successful in rehydrating uh, that apple cherry aromatic. And basically what happened, it, it was sitting on my desk towards the back. And uh, the way my house is heated in the wintertime is I have heat runs that go all around and uh, I have a boiler hot water heater, so it pumps the hot water through these heat runs. And, you know, the heat rises and the back of the desk got warm. So no matter how much I was trying to keep it hydrated, it couldn't keep up with the evaporation process from the heat that came up underneath the desk, that heated the desk up, and heated my humidor up, and... Pfft, so I had a bunch of dried out pipe tobacco. Now, um, I normally order my pipe tobacco in bulk from pipesandcigars.com because I found, I've tried ordering from other online places, uh, and I'm not trying to talk anybody down or anything, but the freshest, moistest, uh, the best tobacco that I've ordered has always been off of pipesandcigars.com yeah you guys can give me your kickback later for the plug so anyways uh, so I ended up ordering two pounds of my um, uh, Captain Black cherry aromatic which I was solely smoking at the time and it came in and it was like had half the moisture content that uh, the fresh tobacco that I ordered off of Pipes and Cigars had. Plus, I had this apple aromatic that was dried out like sawdust. And I was like, damn, what am I going to do? Is it ruined? So I did a lot of research on YouTube. And uh, here's what I came up with. All right. So uh, this is a recent batch of cherry aromatic Captain Black Cherry Aromatic that I had ordered quite some time ago, probably a year ago, and I put it in mason jars, and uh, just not happy with the moisture content. It was way, way, way too low, and uh, so I'm like feeling this stuff, and it's like, it's like way too dry. So after my research... I discovered that you can make a little tin foil bowl, all right, just like that, all right, and inside of it, cotton swabs, three of them. Then what you do is you uh, soak the cotton swabs in um, your uh, distilled water. And then you take it and just drop it right on top of your mason jar and put the cap back on. So then you just set it back on the shelf 
wait for about a week. And you take the top back off, take the little tin foil bowl out. Uh, you'll find that a lot of the water is dissipated uh, through evaporation within the jar of the tobacco soaking it up. And uh, so what you do is you just take your distilled water, you rehydrate your uh, cotton balls, and then uh, what you do is you take your jar, because it's only going to hydrate down so far, you shake your jar up good, get all this mixed up again, tamp it down, and then you take your new hydrated cotton balls, put them in there, put the top back on, let it sit for another week, and repeat the process until you have the desired water content, the desired moisture content that should be in your tobacco. So anyways, uh, that is how you rehydrate tobacco. And it does come back. The full flavor, the full smell, everything comes back. Uh, so anyways, just a little tip on how to rehydrate your tobacco in case it dries out. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'm Paul the Pipe Guy. Live from Rochester, New York. Happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers, over and out. And if you have any questions at all, or comments at all, on this process that uh, I researched, and uh, through hours of research on YouTube, uh, don't, don't be afraid to ask. Anyways, happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers. Paul the Pipe Guy, over and out.